I was like the ambassador devastated by the development because of the very short amount of time between the announcement and the actual time of implementation, meaning when people were supposed to come out. I was watching television here in Washington, D.C. at about 9 p.m., which would have been 3 a.m. in Nigeria. At 3 a.m., probably 90% of Nigerians would have been asleep. Uh, the president himself came out in the morning shocked, just like I took was shocked. So he told me a few things. One, whatever made INIC take that decision must have been really big. Um, to what extent is INIC independent? To the extent that uh, it is not subordinate, for example, to the resident of Asorok, the president. Be, being a government parastatal, it cannot be 100% independent. But first of all, I have to give credit to both President Bahari and uh, vi former Vice President Atiku Abaka and INEC for their ability within a very short period of time to come Nigerians a little bit too. It's like four or five days ago since this election was postponed. But within that short time, all the stakeholders, being the president and his ruling party, the APC, uh, Atiku Abaka and his PDP and INEC, have gone really far in coming out on a daily basis to reassure Nigerians. In fact, I have a, a, not a newspaper clip here that says, only God can stop Saturday. <laughs> this, is from, this is from INET. Very interesting. So, so this kind of um, reassurances um, keep Nigerians hopeful, and um, it keeps things down, too. It keeps the country um, relatively calm and, and at peace. Um, the problem we have right now is the remark that President Muhammadu Buhari made two days ago about his concern for ballot snatching and um, the remark that he made uh, indicating that he had given his military commanders orders to deal quote unquote ruthlessly with anybody found to be snatching ballot boxes, which the opposition is translating to be a shoot and kill order from the president. 